If you're viewing this video, hopefully you, you were able to get root on your phone. If you haven't, either try my method, the 10 minute video, or try a number of other methods that are out on uh, Android forms on the Droid Incredible. What I'm gonna show you right now is uh, how to install a custom recovery and make it permanent. Uh, I had another video up that was more of a proof of concept just to see that it can be done. This is actually a more usable method. What you have to do first is um, there's a zip file that I'm providing. Uh, extract it and you're going to see all these um, files and folders in there. Okay. What I need you to do first though is you're going to have to get into Device Manager. Uh, I'm using Windows 7, so the way you no, know, well, this is this works with this is pretty much universal. You right-click on it, you go into Properties. Device Manager. This is Windows 7, so Windows XP will look a little different, but look for one that says Device Manager. You'll see it in there. What I'm going to do now is while your phone is off, hold down the volume key, hit power. Should boot you into here. Okay, the H boot. What do you want to do now? Get your uh, USB cable, micro USB cable that came with your phone, and you're going to connect it. Okay. Once you connect it, if you take a look at Device Manager, you're going to see that appear. It should say Android 1.0. On the files I provided in the link, you'll see a folder called Android USB Driver. What you want to do is uh, go up here, copy this directory path, copy, right click on here, go to Update driver software, go to browse. Remember, this is what Windows uh, 7 looks like. Windows uh, XP is going to be a little different. Windows Vista should be similar. Okay, what's going to do once I hit next, um, it's going to say this driver is not signed. What that means is uh, Microsoft hasn't fully tested it to see if it doesn't crash or mess up your computer. That's fine. That just means it hasn't gone through Microsoft's like vigorous testing. But not all drivers that you get by even in, well, I don't know about NVIDIA, but not every driver that I've ever installed was signed, so that's fine. Okay, once you see Android boot loader interface, you should be okay. Just exit out of a device manager. Now what you want to do is uh, on your phone, just select the first one, first option, fast boot. Select it by clicking the power button on top. And now just select the reboot, second option, hit the same button on top. Okay, now what you're going to do is just, just going to let it boot. Um, an analogy, well, you might be asking yourself, why am I doing this? I mean, why do I care about custom recovery? What does this do for me? What this does is uh, I like to use the analogy of uh, root. It's like having administrator privileges on your uh, uh, computer. And custom recovery, that allows you to install other operating systems. Like in this case, I have Windows 7. If I wanted to install Windows XP, uh, you can't switch out the software on your phone. So this is what this is going to unlock. You'll see the custom boot animation there. If you need to know how to do that, um, check out my other video. I'm actually currently uploading it, so I provide all the files and hopefully give a good explanation. Okay, um, back to okay. Those files I provided. Um, that was one of the folders. If you go back, there should be all these other files. One of them is called uh, Reflash EXE. What you're gonna do is you're gonna launch that. Also, make sure that your uh, Micro USB is disconnected, okay? Okay, once it says waiting for device, also make sure that your phone is in uh, developer. I think it's developer mode or something. Go to settings. Uh, I think it's application. Applications, development, USB debugging. Make sure that's turned on. It should be, but just make sure it's checked. Okay, go back to the home screen. Once you open up that application, it says that message, what you're gonna do is you're gonna connect this USB cable, this micro USB cable to your phone. Okay, there you go. It's gonna reboot your phone. See how it says right there, waiting for bootloader, make sure driver is installed, okay. Once it shows up here, they should actually be looking for a file that's going to fail in a bit. Okay, it's going to fail there. See, it's pretty much doing everything for you.
Yeah, sorry it took me a while to make this video. My camera actually broke, so this is a new one. So hopefully it looks a little bit better. Just says right there, waiting for reboot. Also, I like to, uh, I mean, this tool, I didn't create it. All thanks goes to this group right here. The website should be right there. Those are, those are the true uh, unlockers, hackers. Again, my custom animation. Again, if you need to know how to do this, uh, just look under my videos and you'll see it on there. It's uh, Droidex uh, boot animation and uh, multi-touch keyboard. Okay. Just reading what this thing has to say. Okay, it's going to reboot you into recovery. Should appear in a bit. There you go. Once in here, uh, what I recommend everybody do is if you go down to uh, Nandroid right here. You actually select this by hitting this optical button down here, so select it by going like that. And there's actually an option to backup, restore, and uh, advanced restore, which actually allows you to restore certain folders and stuff. Let's see if I can focus in there. don't know if you can read that or not, but it says backup, restore, and advanced restore. Uh, just uh, click on this on for backup and make sure you back it up. Um, this will prevent from, uh, I don't know, if like later on you notice you mess something else up. I mean, this this helps you take it back to whatever stuff you have on your phone right now. So it basically takes a snapshot of your current phone and saves all the settings. I'm just What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to our reboot system now, which is the first option. Sorry, I don't know if you can read that or not. And if you ever need to access it, what you have to do is you have to hit volume down, hit power. goes through maybe it won't but no it looks like it's just gonna boot into the phone because I hit reboot system now all you have to do is just hit volume down uh, hit power and then uh, the second option where it says recovery select that and you'll be good to go just let me show you before I still got two minutes what I like to do is I like to take out the battery it's a lot of, uh, I don't know if it's good for the phone but it's, it's a lot faster you hold volume down and you hit power uh, the H boot thing is going to appear right now. Once it errors out there, just select recovery and power the button up here. And there you go. That's how you get a permanent uh, custom recovery on your phone. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, follow me on uh, YouTube. or Well, yeah, subscribe to me on YouTube and follow me on Twitter. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.